If you wear glasses and have a VR headset, you might have encountered some of these problems before. Either your frames don't fit in the headset, or they do fit but it pushes against your face and it isn't comfortable. Or maybe you are scared that your glasses might scratch against the lenses and damage them. Since a couple of weeks I wear glasses full time, before that I didn't know I needed glasses, so I didn't pay much attention to using VR with glasses. Now that I do, I wanted to share my experience for others out there who might be having similar problems. So in this video I will show you prescription lens adapters for the Oculus Rift, Oculus Go, HTC 5 and the HTC 5 Pro. I will show you what they are, how they are installed, I'll show you differences between the lens types and lastly I will share my thoughts on them. Make sure to check the description for the timeline of this video, I'll show the installation per headset. However, the conclusion will be a general one about all the lens adapters that we have, since the adapters are almost the same except for the installation. I hope to give you a general view whether prescription lens adapters are worth getting and if we recommend the Witmo VR version. All of this coming up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet to see more of these kind of videos. First of all, thanks to Witmo VR for sending us their adapters when we posted on social media that I had to start wearing glasses. That was kind of thoughtful. So what are prescription lens adapters exactly and what do they do? These are the lens adapters that we have. They are custom made glasses to fit your VR headset. This way you don't have to wear your glasses while in your VR headset anymore. Instead, you can keep these lens adapters attached on your VR headset and see sharply in VR without the hassle of trying to fit your frames in there. They are manufactured per prescription. Witmo has a lot of options that you can fill out on the basis of your prescription provided by your optometrist. They go for 74 US dollars or 74 euros, shipping included. If you pick options like a blue light filter or high index glasses, then 29 dollars per option can be added. Make sure to use our discount code in the description if you decide to buy them for a 5% discount. We received three prescription lens adapters, one for the HTC 5, which also fits the Pro, one for the Oculus Rift and one for the Oculus Go. The Oculus Rift one has a blue light filter, the rest does not. I'll give you a look at how they are installed and removed in a bit. But before we move on, I also wanted to give you an idea of my prescription. I am farsighted with a prescription of plus one on both eyes. So the text isn't clear for me when it is up close and I am not wearing my glasses. My eyes are also astigmatic, this means they are formed more like a cylinder than round. Because of that I have trouble focusing my eyes, so I see blurry in general without my glasses. And that's also why the optometrist recommends me to wear my glasses full time. All three of these lens adapters are custom made for my prescription. Later in this video I will check if it makes a difference for me playing with and without them. But before that let me show you how to install all three of them on four different VR headsets. This box is what all lens adapters come in. All lenses come in this soft foam wrap. This is the same for every box, so we won't show the unboxing for every one of them. All lens adapters come with this little cloth sack too. I feel that the little accessories are a nice touch. Now let's move on with the Oculus Go adapters installation. First, make sure you insert the Oculus Go eyeglass spacer that was included with your Oculus Go purchase. This is the eyeglass spacer. To make installation easier, turn the sides vertically. Then remove the original lens covers. Remove the foam face pad, insert the eyeglass spacer, now smell back at it because it looks like it's smiling at us. Also make sure that the knobs of the eyeglass spacer are in the holes on both sides. Reinsert the foam face pad and instead of using the original lens covers, you can now put in the Witmo lens adapters. Press a bit on the sides, so it's tight in there. As you can see, it's a very easy setup and it looks pretty great. I am shaking it here to see if they will fall off. And they don't, so that's good news. Now I am showing you that they are easy to remove as well. Which is of course nice to have if you share your Oculus Go a lot with friends or family. 
The Oculus Rift installation is also easy, but probably takes a couple of seconds more to get used to it. This is the Oculus Rift lens adapter. This one has a blue light filter. I will show the difference between with and without this filter later in this video. To install the Oculus Rift adapter, you take out the Rift facial interface by pulling it out from the top. Next, place the lens adapter from the front on the facial interface. Make sure it fits right. Then, turn around the interface while holding onto the lens adapter from the other side. It's recommended to hold the lens adapter like this to insert the adapter in place. Now, reinsert the Rift interface. Make sure to click it on the headset. And you're ready to go with the Rift adapter. As you can see here, there is a tiny bit of space between the lens adapter and the headset's lenses. It doesn't seem to touch the headset lens though. If it does touch, it only touches very softly. And because the lens adapters are placed between the facial interface and the headset lenses, it does not come off easily either. As you can see here, I have a VR cover facial interface. The Witmo VR adapters fit on them perfectly. The same goes for the original facial interface. So that is nice, especially since a lot of us have VR covers. They are easy to remove too. Just pull off the facial interface and remove it. Removing is actually easier than inserting. The HZ Vive lens adapters are the only ones that come with an extra lens cover. The cover is on the lens adapter right now. The HZ Vive versions also have text on the adapters telling you which one is for the left or right lens. So let's move on to the installation of the HZ Vive lens adapters. We will start with the original Vive. Start by rotating the knobs on both sides of the headset to adjust the lens distance in the headset. Now you have enough space to put the lens adapters in. Check which lens you are holding. Remove the protective cover first, then place the adapters on the headset's lens. The best way to do this is to first place the adapter between the headset's lens and the headset's frame. Then just push the sides of the adapter until it is tight. Now just rotate the knobs again to adjust the distance of your preference and you're done. As you can see here, the adapters don't fall off easily, which is good news. If you want, you can use the extra covers to protect the lenses when you are not playing. Now let me show you if they are easy to remove. Make sure you use your side knobs to adjust the lens distance in the headset again because you need some space to be able to remove the adapters. And as you can see here, they are very easy to remove. The five lens adapters fit both the original HTC Vive and the Vive Pro headset. The only difference in the installation on the Vive Pro is that there is a button here that you have to press to create more space between the headset's lenses and frame. But the rest of the installation is exactly the same and it does not fall off easily either. While you are watching this video, please leave a like to show your support if you like this video. There are also two options to choose from when you order these adapters. One of the options is a blue light filter. This is a filter that cuts out a harmful portion of the blue light spectrum. Witmo calls it blue light protection. I wanted to show you the difference between glasses with and without a blue light filter. The Rift adapter that we got here has blue light filter. The Vive adapter does not have this filter. So to show you the differences we shot some through the lens footages of both. There is a bit of a yellow tint but it's very subtle. I have a blue light filter on my real life glasses too and that yellow tint is much more visible than that of the adapters. For VR it doesn't really matter much to me whether I use a blue light filter or not. If I wasn't VR 9 hours a day like I am in front of my PC screen at work, then I would probably get the blue light filter just to protect my eyes. But that's personal preference. There is also the option to get the lens adapters without any prescription. These lens types are called Plano. These are lenses that don't have a vision correction and can be used to protect the headset lenses or to keep them dust free. You may also want to get a Plano with a blue light filter to protect your eyes. So what is it like to play with the lens adapters versus playing without them? First of all, they definitely make my eyesight more clear and just a little bit crisper. 
They are comfortable too. My eyelashes do not touch the glasses. I don't feel the lens adapter at all when I have my headset on. The field of view is not affected since they cover the headset's lenses entirely. I can still look sideways with my eyes. And when I do that, I do not notice any distortions or god rays. I don't notice any color differences either. Except when you get the blue light filter, everything is a bit more yellow. However, I also wear glasses with a blue light filter and the yellow of the Widmo lens adapters are definitely less, so more subtle. The adapters are very easy to insert and remove after you get the hang of it, taking only a couple of seconds. Probably the most tricky one to remove and install the whole time would be the Rift one, but once you get the hang of it, it only takes a couple of seconds more. I have heard that there are lens adapters out there that tend to fall off often or create a distortion in the view. I don't have those lens adapters to compare it with, but I did not encounter these problems with the Widmo VR adapters. The price of about $74 with shipping included for custom made prescription lens adapters of this quality seems fair to me too. So I think they are great and definitely a recommendation to get if you wear glasses with a strong prescription. You can order the Widmo VR lens adapter by going to their website. Make sure you know your prescription and check out their frequently asked questions page to get help on how to read your eyeglass prescription. It is recommended to do this as accurately as possible if you need help with it. You can always contact Widmo for support, they are very responsive. Widmo also collaborated with us by providing a discount code for all of our viewers. If you use the discount code Cass and Cherry at checkout, you will get a 5% discount. It will also give us a small referral fee, which will help support the content. Be aware though that the discount code is limited for one use per user. Widmo ships worldwide. They are based in Poland though, so if you are in Europe, you'll most likely get the adapters quicker than when you order them from the US. Do you have any other questions about the lens adapters? If so, let us know down below and we will try to answer them all. And a special thank you to our right hand patron Art Armin and a special shout out to his Patreon page. And also, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and uh, as always, VR on! I hope to give you a general view whether I hope to give you a, I hope to give you I hope to I hope to give you a, I hope to give you a general view whether 2000 years later